It was one of the biggest police operations of its kind, and it began this morning at addresses around the capital with dozens of arrests. By lunchtime, a small army of police officers was assembling in Finsbury Park. And this is the moment they moved in, swamping an entire Islington street that's become notorious for handling stolen goods, drug dealing and money laundering. What's happening is that the police, and there are about 600 of them on the ground at the moment, are cutting off both ends of this normally busy street. Once it's secure, they've got a list of premises they want to search and individuals they want to arrest. At least 19 cafes and other businesses were targeted in an area where many of London's Algerian community live. Local police say they've been gathering intelligence for more than a year, and today's raids have resulted in more than 70 arrests. The people that we've arrested today are the middle-tier criminals who are providing the drugs, are buying the stolen laptops, and making money from their criminality. Local residents, many astonished at the scale of the operation, were broadly supportive. Most, most muggings like theft happen on this road, especially with things reparked has been around the corner. They stand out on the road, harassing people when they walk past, they flee from people, and it's about time. Stolen property recovered today includes computers and other expensive electronic items. One mobile phone company estimates that 40% of its handsets stolen in the capital are used in this street alone. Now the police say the challenge is to stop the criminals moving back in. Andy Tai, BBC London News.